The ASU jetpack video really kicked off a lot of interest in the jetpack. And it's been a lot of fun. It's kind of been a roller coaster ride. You know, you go through a design and you make modifications to it and then you test it out and then you redesign and you keep making improvements to the device. So this is the new carbon fiber jetpack. It's basically a waist-mounted jetpack. Uh, the unique thing about this version is that I've been able to eliminate quite a bit of the weight that was on the original version just by eliminating all of the aluminum frame and actually the plastic frame. But it's more for the extreme sports, people that aren't necessarily running, but for example, riding on a skateboard or riding a bicycle or skiing or snowboarding. Riding on a bicycle, the rider was able to increase their top speed from 39 miles an hour to 53 miles an hour. And on the skateboard, we were able to reach a top speed of 32 miles an hour on a longboard. Um, I tested both of those, but uh, you know, I think the device could have gone faster, but I was a little bit out of my comfort zone going about 30 on the longboard. It kind of, you know, it was a little bit crazy. I'm working on uh, furthering development of the jetpack, but I'm also working on uh, designing a new exoskeleton we call REST Exo for robotic exoskeletal support technology to help people uh, that have trouble standing, you know, people that have hurt knees or hurt ankles, and make them able to get back up and walk. Anything's possible. There's complex problems that we encounter every day in life, and with enough motivation and dedication, you can really go out and change the world.